has exhibited very limited personal growth. Hi, I'm Jules. So I enjoy Black Rose music. I do, for the most part. He's made some straight up bangers. I made a video where I wrote a Black Bear song and it was really funny and fun. You guys should definitely check that out. But Black Bear came out with a new album recently and I realized upon listening to it this very bizarre phenomenon called Black Bear has been making the exact same music for almost 10 years. It is wild how little Black Bear's music, Black Bear's personality, Black Bear's style, Black Bear's brand as an artist has changed. Despite some growth in production and some higher number of bangers on each album, these are the same songs. There's a difference between an artist having a brand that they stay true to and an artist revealing in their music little to no progress in their personal life, in the way that they make music, and showing very little growth in their understanding of the world and their understanding of their craft. I don't think Black Bear is like shit or anything. Like I think he's a very talented dude, but, but I think people have missed how little he's actually grown. Absolutely nothing has changed about it in over 10 years. So upon realizing this, I went through all of Black Bear's albums and made a list of the songs that unfailingly make up each album from the last 10-ish years. Okay, this is a Black Bear album with a little bit of variation and uh, doubles of some of these. Not in order. Shallow LA Girls. Can't please him, don't need him. You broke my heart, you dumb bitch! I'm still addicted. I have sex. I've been on the low. I need to get better. I need to stop drinking. But not today. Flex on the bitches. Did you forget? I have sex. Hi, I'm rich. Places rich people go. Like me, Black Bear. I'm rich. Fake bitches hang around. Because I'm rich! Wait, you like really broke my heart. This song is a feature. It's about the fact that it's a feature. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so let me, just to prove this point, go through even just the titles. Dead Roses is the first album that's on Spotify, which I think he has other albums out that are in SoundCloud and the other EPs that are from before this. This is in 2015. So let me just read off some of the tracks and then see how they compare to the tracks from other albums. I needed you, lowercase letters. 90210, which is the LA area code. And it's about a girl that he can't please and that he doesn't need. I don't fucking care. My heart is lost. That is dirty laundry. I shit you not, I just turned it on at a random point in this song. Fake bitches hang around because I'm rich. Next album, 2016. He's just in help, we have Slide Through. Nervous. I've been on the law, I need to get better. Different Hose. Where Was You? Hustler. And Digital Drug Lord, which was the album that I started actually really liking Black Bear during, but then when he just continued to make the same album as this with different quality variations, uh, I kind of lost interest. Hell is where I dreamt of you and woke up alone. I miss the old you. Do re me. LA girls can't please him, don't need him. Juicy sweatsuits. I'm rich! If I could, I would feel nothing. Chateau. Places where people go like me because I'm rich. In cyber sex, which is in 2017. Same year, just. Yeah. I gotta stop doing that. We have Gucci Linen, Bright Pink Thames, Playboy shit, Anxiety, Thursday Froze Over, which I actually think this song is hilarious. The first line of the song is hey, Justin I gotta give it to you, Black Bear. That's fucking hilarious. I'm gonna have to pitch all of these up so that I don't get copyrighted. I hope your whole life sucks with an X. S-U-X. That's how he chooses to spell that word. Santa Monica and Libre. His 2019 album, Anonymous. All caps. He's done with lowercase. Pink Rolex. Hate my guts. Drug dealer. Sick of it all. Burnt AF. 
heartbroken. One-sided love. And then his newest album, Everything Means Nothing, 2020, we have obviously Hot Girl Bummer, which is LA Girls Can't Please Him, Don't Need Him, Me and Your Ghost, I feel bad. I feel too much. Too. I felt that. Which is actually, that's kind of funny. I feel bad. I feel too much. I felt that. That's, that's kind of funny. Sobbing in Cabo. I'm rich. Half alive. Why are girls? So I'm not trying to say that I ha hate Black Bear and that I think everything he does is trash. I'm just really confused and a little bit concerned about how Black Bear has been successful in showing absolutely zero growth. Like it feels like we're being bad listeners. Black Bear has just continually been very uncautious, unthoughtful with his brand and just kind of drills it in, bludgeons it through into every new project he does. He does collabs with literally everyone and adds very little to the collabs he does. Like this man was on a Jacob Sartorius song. I just kind of feel like Black Bear walks into every booth and just spits something that's been recycled 400 times from his brain. And that's why he bangs out songs and albums so fast is he doesn't seem to be doing anything that takes a lot of time or effort because he's done it before six times. Like, ah. To me, the most interesting project that Black Bear has done was Mansions, which is when he and Mike Posner hung out in a cabin for a month and made this super weird, interesting album. One of the songs is from the perspective of a troubadour. It's like a really sonically interesting album. And it feels like Black Bear actually pushing his sound and pushing his style. Whereas his solo albums and even his other collaborations don't feel like he's pushing himself artistically in any way, shape or form. Cause as I said before, there's a difference between having a style that you own, like The Weeknd or like Julia Michaels, like Lauf, people that have very distinctive types of music that they make and things that they are good at doing musically. Still, all of those people have showed significant amounts of complexity and growth in the way that they write and in the way that they produce and in the subject matters of their songs, which I feel like Black Bear has really failed to do that. And one of the reasons why that makes me really upset is because a lot of other people have to do that in order to be successful. There's this part in Taylor Swift's documentary, Miss Americana, where she talks about how female artists have this pressure to find new shiny facets of themselves and completely reinvent themselves 15 times over again in order to stay relevant and stay successful in the music industry. Whereas male artists don't have that pressure as much and also have reinvented themselves a quarter <laughs> as much as a lot of other female artists. And just thinking about the way that people talked about Taylor Swift always writing like bubblegum pop songs about boys and heartbreak, she's so boy crazy. Whereas people like Black Bear can literally write the same songs for 10 years and be more successful than ever before. It just makes me wonder if maybe we're not being good listeners to not get bored of it. Black Bear, you're a fun guy. I appreciate you a lot, but I definitely think that we would all appreciate a little bit of personal growth, especially because you're a father now. There's no way that someone's life doesn't change within 10 years. Like there's no way that someone doesn't learn something new that they would like to share about. But Black Bear, after almost 10 years of the shifting tides of pop music and what works on the radio and what becomes a hit and how music is distributed, is still writing songs about how bitter he is at his ex-girlfriends, how pissed off he is at shallow LA girls, how rich he is, how sad he is, how mad he is at himself, how much he knows he should and wants to get better, but never quite does. Well, 
You said it yourself, Black Bear. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that any Black Bear stands don't come after me. I'm not trying to actually hate on him. I'm just making an observation about his music. Please follow me on Instagram and become a patron. It is five dollars, literally less than a latte. I am showing you how to produce stuff on Logic. I am talking about songwriting. Check out my album, Oversharing. It's out right now. So if you write songs, but you don't play instruments or produce, and you want people to hear your songs and know how amazing you are, then hit me up, internetjewels at gmail.com. I am producing demos for people right now to help people get their music out there or pitch their songs to someone if they write songs but can't manifest them. Please subscribe to this channel. I make videos every single weekday, and have a good day.